They're lined up. And there are over seven furlongs, jinking off to the left, leaving stalls was the nine filly blue drum, but corrected back in to join the others. And this, the Coolmore stud, Little Big Bear, Irish EBF, Athazi States, it's a group three. And in the all purple, it is purple love, just shading it from you send me. In between them is Doom, the English runner over from the William Haggis yard, improving his magical sunset to head them off. Close up is Vainglory and then Jumbly in mid-division, Blue Drum next, followed by Wide with the Light and then Val Policella in the dark-colored noseband. The back marker is Gregorina. Magical Sunset forges on in front from Stable Companion, Purple Love. Over on the far side is You Send Me, tracked by Vaingloria, unbeaten in two or three, and then Doom, and they're tracked by Jumbly. Nudged along next is Blue Drum. When the back three wide with the light, Val Policella and Gregorina. Less than three furlongs to go. And the Coolmore stud, Little Big Bear, EBF, Athazi Stakes Group 3. Just leading the way is Magical Sunset from You Send Me. Dropping back is Purple Love, Vaingloria on the stand side, followed by Doom. Right in behind them is Jumbly in the black and white. Improving on this side is Wide with the Light and then Gregorina. You Send Me has come to take. Magical Sunset after them is Doom. Then Jumbly, who's running on in between Phillies. And wide with the light, Vaingloria has dropped out tamely. Staying on behind the leaders is Gregorina. But as you send me and Joey Sheridan by three parts of a length, flashing home, Gregorina on the line. It's got to the judge, the Thazi. In third place is Doom, followed in then by Magical Sons. Wait for the judge. It got tight in the end. Joseph O'Brien's with us, just captured the Athazi stakes. Joseph, with a new recruit, Greg Arena, she's made the perfect start there. I know you had three in the race, so probably difficult to keep an eye on them all, but how pleased with the winner? Very pleased, Gary. Um, actually quite very impressed. Um, um, she was a, quite a hard puller, and she switched off very well today. That was the main objective on her first run of the season, and I thought she showed a very impressive turn of foot. Wasn't it just? I mean, it was a kid glove ride from Dillon. Was that the idea, to try and produce her as late as possible? Yeah, well, very much today was her first run for us, so the, the important thing was that she settled early because she had wasted a lot of energy in, in her races um, um, in the past, and she switched off very well, um, and um, I thought the pace of the race was going to be a bit slow for her to come from where she was. She's but got a stack of big race entries. Royal Ascot, I'm sure, will be high in your considerations. Could she go straight there? Yeah, she could. We'd have the option of coming back here Guinea's weekend for, for the Phillies race to Group 2. Um, but, but that's her first run after a long time, and it was a big effort. So I would say that more likely she'd go straight to Ascot for the, for the um, Duke of Cambridge, or yeah, I think it's called, yeah. And what were your thoughts on the other two today? Um, Jumbly ran ran a nice race, I'd say the ground probably was a bit slow for her, um, but I was a little bit disappointed, Th thought she had a, a decent slip through, um, and uh, happy with Val Policella, her first run uh, for us, and most of her form is over a bit further and better ground, so nice to get her started. Uh, I'm sure you were pleased to see Whistle Jacket win so well earlier on, carried in the county, of course, having lowered his colours first, I mean, has your horse done since then? Yeah, he's pulled up really well, um, and uh, yeah, he's a colt we're really excited about, and the plan is to go straight to the Coventry. Whistle Jacket looks pretty smart too, doesn't he? Yeah, Whistle Jacket looked really good today, um, and uh, it's exciting to have to have a horse that that's in his league at home. And uh, and um, I mean, we have the option of the Marble Hill, but I think the preference is to go straight to the Coventry. Good stuff. And Joseph, finally, Max is coming up in the next round. A blinder here last time. A little bit better off with the winner today as well. She is. Yeah, she's a top class filly, and um, uh, she handles off ground. She always comes in the back, so she'll need the right setup. But if she gets it, she'll be right there. Great stuff. Wish you well. Thanks, Joseph. Appreciate Thanks, Gary. It. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.